Happy Good Friday! Welcome to the bonus, well it isn't really a bonus, but welcome to the bonus Talking Real Good Friday stream. I'm going to play some retro classics, starting with a game that I've neither played nor uh, wished to play, but I've had it recommended to me and I've played the shit version of it already, so I, I, shall, I shall play it. Uh, it's not, it is a bonus stream and it's not a bonus stream because uh, it's... It's instead of the Saturday stream, doing stuff tomorrow, like real life stuff. So for Easter Spesh, we just decided to do a longer stream on the Sunday and Saturday stream on the Friday. Hi, Stina. This is, yeah, it's the uh, Wittard's Coconut Carnival. I'm, I'm wearing my T-shirt, which has got a SNES controller on it, because that's what I'm using, kind of. And I'm drinking out of the Mario cup to uh, commemorate the life and times of Mario Mario. Who died yesterday? So F in chat for Mario. Two thousand. Uh, who? Blah, blah, blah. Nineteen eighty-five to two thousand and twenty-one. There we go. The cup. It's aluminium. So the handle is ridiculously hot when I first poured it. It's still quite hot now. This is a T-shirt. I think I've only worn it once, if that. It's one of the ones that I got over the last year and then just did haven't had the chance to wear it because I want to wear when I get my t-shirts I want to wear them the first time I wear them I want it to be wore out for something like I used to do if I went to a party or if we went to a, a Nando's or if we we're out on holiday you know I'd normally get my first wear out on something like that but there was none of that last year so most of my t-shirts were worn the first time on Talking Real streams Thanks for dropping by anyway, Stina. It looks like it, it might be a quiet one here today. So I, I, I won't bother running you through the, uh, the charity thing. That's 17th. That's in two weeks' time. We've got the Mr. Bean stream next weekend. The next emote now is 35, but we have no idea what that will be. But when, when, when the time gets there, I'm sure we'll, we'll, we'll know something that we want for a emote. Or perhaps we'll want another Mr. Bean emote. But hopefully... All the bean that's coming up will get it out of the system. I burnt my hand and mouth on an aluminium cup once. Ugh. That's not a good, Stina. Anyway, so we'll go over to... I'm playing this on the Super Nintendo Classic, which this week I uh, flashed it and installed custom firmware on there so it can run emulators so I can play Mega Drive games, which is something I've been meaning to do for... About three years. So yeah, this is what I played last time and I'm not playing it again. This is what Joe recommended. I'm not sure if Joe is around at the moment. So do you reckon we should start off with a different game? I'll show you what I've got so what we can play later, most of this stuff. If you have any anything you'd like, some of them don't work at the moment. If there's anything you'd like to see out of this lot, and there's... Oh, I'm going to play Chaotix, actually, later. Get some Chaotix. And this folder here. 
Mario is missing is a fucking ordeal. We've got McDonald's uh, Treasure Land Adventure and the other McDonald's Mega Drive game, Mick and Mac as the Global Gladiators. Hi, Fuse. You, d you can't see me flashing though, that's Patreon only. Check out what I've done on the SNES here. Got Mischief Makers, which runs terribly just because it's Nintendo 64 emulation, just still doesn't work well. Mother Free, the English translation. Hi, Euphorio. Happy Good Friday to you both. I've got like Rise of the Robots there for a laugh, but you'd have to fucking. You'd, you'd have to pay me lit literally a thousand bits to even open that. I'm not sure if it even runs. Actually, it does because I've played it. Never again. Secret of Evermore's working. Wouldn't bother playing this just because it's been officially translated now and I've played it very recently. It's, it's, there's now two English versions of this game after going two decades with Zero. Uh, Sim City was uh, a good SNES game. It's when I first discovered that the Super Nintendo controller has uh, L and R buttons because you needed them to put in a cheat code and I thought I literally thought I had to buy a third party controller to get L and R buttons and then one day accidentally pressed it in and realised they were buttons. Apparently I wasn't the only one. Someone in chat said that they, were the, they did the same. Didn't know that they were there for ages. Got Sonic Advance 3. Super Bomberman. Got the English uh, the English patch from a year or so ago of Super Famicom Wars. Super Mario All-Stars, the one that's uh, still available. Not Super Mario 3D All-Stars, which they want to become rare, but it's not. We got a, a ROM hack here, Super Mario Land 3, Tatanga's Return, Super Tennis, which is good, but I'm not sure if it still holds up. Rest in peace, Mario. I'm drinking from his cup here. When Street Fighter 2 was your main reason for buying a snares, those shoulder buttons are important. Yeah, I wasn't good enough at Street Fighter to uh, to, to, to utilise all the buttons. Terra Enigma actually runs as well. Does Super Tennis still hold up? Good. Tetris Attack. We got Buster Bust Loose, which my save file's gone for that. And another ROM hack here. We have Wario Land SNES. So, and Yoshi's Story, which doesn't go past the title screen. So yeah, I guess, I guess we'll start, until we see Joe in chat, I'm going to start with uh, McDonald's Treasure Land Adventure. Because I, I literally haven't played it since around the time it first came out. I played it at a friend's house and I can't even remember what friend. And then I couldn't find anything about the game again for ages. And when someone said they had the McDonald's platform game, I thought it was this. And for ages I just got them confused and I swore blind that there was a platform game where you play as Ronald McDonald but I wasn't sure whether I'm fucking dreaming it or not. Look at this though. Buy McDonald's. As always let me know how the sound is because we're switching between different ROMs and different consoles. Yesterday we're playing Switch and today we're playing uh, not Switch. 1993 McDonald's Corp. One day, Ronald was walking in the magical forest and found a small piece of paper under a big tree. <laughs> oh, what's this? It looks like a piece of a treasure map. That mouth moving's almost making me reset the game. That does look like a piece of a treasure map, Ronald McDonald. Sounding good, cool. I wonder where the rest of the treasure map is. Ronald didn't know. But three other guys found the other parts of the map. Okay, let's go for a treasure hunt. He's, he's obviously got too much free time on his hand here. This is the start of Ronald's adventure with a piece of the map in his hand. Oh, special effects here. Stage one, magical forest. All right, we're playing Sonic the... the we're, we're playing Ronald the Hedgehog. Oh.
Like, literally, it would have been 1993 when I played this last. That's what I was doing. <laughs> Ronald the Hedgehog, yeah. How do I grab this shit? Surely that, that looks like something you grab. Let's try to show it. No. Oh, there. It worked. That thing. Is that a handkerchief? It looks like fuck. The enemies are really fucking random. Am I killing them or what? It's magical dust. Stina says hi. Katie says hi, Stina. Oh, okay. Donald Gun. The game's a tiny bit loud over your voice, okay. Death and me with Donald. Whoop. Fucking snail thing. Get some of this McDonald's cash. Oh, what? I died. Alright, I'm gonna speed run. Ugh. Collects rings like Sonic as well. We played worse, haven't we? Animaniacs was definitely worse in several ways. As in Super Nintendo Animaniacs. Oh, I can't be bothered with you fucking tortoise now thing. Oh, that's a dead end. There we go. Love this scenery. Come on, McDonald's zip wire. There's Hamburglar in this. Shit. Looks like fucking children's toys that I'm fighting. Uh. Oh, it's a shop. Literally gone inside a McDonald's. Your man burglar. Continue item. 10,000 golds. That's a lot of golds. Magic power up. 2,000 golds. Hi Joe, I thought I'd put on a different game first because uh, Animaniacs was your recommendation. Happy Good Friday. Two jewels, 500 golds. Jewel, 300 golds. We'll get a jewel. I don't know what the gold rings are for. And a fucking creepy ass McDonald, uh, Ronald McDonald. That's too many G's. And some balloons to attract children. Just got home. How was how was being out? Oh shit! Did he? I lose two hit points from that fucking rabbit frog touching me. Hey, Stel. I've got to go up there, haven't I? This, I'm just... This is definitely better than Sonic the Hedgehog. This is definitely better than most Sonic the Hedgehog games, let's say that. Oh. Except for that bit, that can fuck off. Ronald McDonald. Password. There's a door for password. We'll continue. Got a Nutella Frappuccino. Didn't even know that was an option. 
Kelly got lots of pets. That's what I asked a few minutes ago, and uh, you said you man burglar. I don't remember Hamburglar being in it, but literally the, the the only other time I played it was in 1993. And I subsequently thought I'd fucking imagine the game existing. Oh, you shitting fucking gnome cunt. Bastard. Hey, Emily! Ronald McDonald, what a treat, yeah. Providing your, uh... Good Friday McDonald's fix without having to get a Big Mac. How about Grimace? Grimace is my sex face. Oh, that's what we want. That is what we want. Come on, Ronald, do you... Ronald does not know how to zip wire properly. That's one thing we've learned from this game. Hey! Thanks for the follow, Animaniacs Official! The, the, uh, the official Animaniacs. Doing Wii Fit! How very retro of you. I, I did Wii Fit last year before we, I got Ring Fit, and then we did Ring Fit for a few uh, couple of weeks, and it fucking caned me. And then I couldn't be bothered to turn it on again. My old Joy-Cons are still in, probably dead. The batteries are probably dead. And they're still in the, uh, the ring fit from maybe last May. Like any of the exercises in ring fit that I get down on the floor, I'm like, yep, yeah, fuck off, not doing that one. This is definitely not Animaniacs. I need to get back on the ring fit. I, it's just annoying having to clear part of the, uh, the... the room to play ring fit. I'm getting all sweaty. Having to have two showers. One, one in the morning normally, and then after playing ring fit and being a sweaty bastard. I'm playing Animaniacs next. We're leading in the way with Ronald McDonald. This is getting too difficult now. Currently doing raids in WoW. The anti-ring fit. If you can get into a rhythm, it's good. Should we continue one more time and then play Animaniacs? Thanks for the follow, Yakko Animania. You got any more accounts? All of the Animaniacs need to follow. Yeah, we need that. Hi, Doc. Happy Good Friday to you. This fucking... This makes me want to stay away from McDonald's for life, this... Why would they think a fucking clown would be a good... Oh. Don't trust Doc. <laughs> Me 
you for this content. You accidentally timed out the the actual real life Animaniacs. You can't silence the Animaniacs. Oh yeah, I'll spin the wheel for uh, Doc Bombay from yesterday. Alright, I'm getting too distracted to play this game. I'm getting worse at it. Alright, I spin the wheel for Doc Bombay for yesterday's uh, 100 bits. Oh, it's a try again. It's a try again. I keep saying this, but I'm going to get rid of try again. Hydration. After all that, it's just hydrate. We have a... We have a shot lined up for Sunday already. Sing the nations of the world. Oh, I'll, I'll do another hydrate. I'll do that other hydrate in just a moment. After I've killed more children's toys. Right. Thank you. We got two hydrates, it's fine. We've done more than double hydration before. You excited, Fuse. By the way, in case you haven't noticed, we've managed to get to the 25 subs, so we've got the, uh, the new uh, emote slot. And we're going to be doing a Mr. Bean stream that people have wanted. I haven't wanted it, but others have. So next Saturday is Mr. Bean. Yay! Now I get to this bit again. And the Saturday after is a charity stream. That's what the 17th of April is about. We're going to be 12 hours for Cancer Research UK. Yako likes Yu-Gi-Oh! Oh! Alright, let's switch over to the Animaniacs. I think we've, uh... Our appetite has been whetted. So we're not playing this one, we're playing this one. Nineteen ninety four Konami. Screaming. Hype ting, yeah. Is it a Bamani game though? No, it's not. Welcome to our video game. I don't remember what their voices are like. What do you mean, video game? We're cartoon characters. Wacko. Even though we're animated characters, that doesn't mean that we can't play a vital role in an interactive, audio-visual, entertainment software medium as well. As a matter of fact, this is a time of convergence for many forms of media. What the fuck? Bit of an intro, isn't it? <laughs> I think he's saying, welcome to our video game. Have to check out Animaniacs on the DS at some point then, yeah? <laughs> Convergence. Convergence.md. 
Here we are in, in the Warner Brothers studio in lovely Southern California. I want to meet some glamorous celebrities, or perhaps Jon Snot. Yeah, me too. Maybe he'd do that thing with his eyes for us. I literally don't know what they're talking about. I've got a great idea! Let's open that hip pop culture shop. That we're always talking about. We can start by collecting some famous props from the movies. Sound like fun. Let's go! Here come the Warner Brothers. And the Warner sister. Motherfucker. Alright, here we go. It's the first thing that's going to happen, a fucking anvil falls on me and I lose all my lives. Because that's what the SNES game was like. And we're off. Hopefully there's no fall damage. Yeah. I want to be the Animaniac. Do you have to kill these people, or you just jump over them? Oh, you don't do either. Alright, just swap characters. Alright, I get you gotta do something to that. Just working out what each of the buttons do. There we go. There we go! Switch. Is that a dog? Oh, I reckon it will be a uh, dark. Pet the dog. Dog fucks off. There we are. Get this password written down in your book. Better than Nintendo's Animaniacs. Yeah, Nintendo's Animaniacs was like a fucking... A troll level from Mario Maker. We go for one first. Seems to make sense. Bungle in the jungle. The adventure of what? I read that as dick. Dirk is so dreamy. I wish I could get a memento of him. If he's dreamy, I hate to get a look at your nightmares. You're no Kurt Cameron yourself. Hey. Hey, fellas. We need to cooperate here. Wacko, you take the high road. Amiibo show and tell. Doc, you take the low road. As for me, I'll be in Scotland before ye. Alright, we're doing Amiibo before we can even play this first level. Which Amiibo is closest to Doc? I'd say... Wouldn't you say Celeste? Come on. She's got a bow in her hair. Uh, slightly pink, but not too pink. Probably around the same. I did a hydrate. I'll do another hydrate. But I did it. I did it very slyly. I did hold, hold up the bottle to the camera. But yeah, this is, this is Celeste, otherwise known as Animal Crossing's very own dot. Okay, let's play this Animaniacs thing, yeah? By the way, Bits Game, let's get... Just in case people have forgotten, uh, Bits Game is currently at 86 bits. Any cheers of 86 or more bits will get a spin of the wheel. Do you reckon the pigeon will kill me if I jump on it? Or whatever it's supposed to be. Ah! Shit! 
How am I not landing on that? How? Uh... Alright, I'm gonna swap. I'm gonna swap people. Animaniacs the game history, yeah? Use the bat and ball to get the pigeon. Alright, I've got to swap to the hammer for this. I keep forgetting which button it is to actually swap characters. Whoop! I haven't died yet. Pretty sure I've died about 17 times at this point of the Super Nintendo one. Play Tiny Toon Adventures. Buster Bust Loose. Is this. Do I jump on his head? Or do I. You delayed, Joe. Use an emote and you'll find out how delayed you are. How do I get up there? I smack this bastard. I mean... There's got to be something that... Um, there doesn't seem to be anything logical to, to me at the moment. Flirt at head height, really? Jesus. Alright, cheers. Mr. Bean. I was looking at the chat and I got fucked, didn't I? See the one with the hammer? Yu-Gi-Oh! Go Yu-Gi-Oh! It's time to du 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 I wish I had a memory of this game and in general. Alright, and I need to take more care in the next part because you can get hit, you can get killed in one fall. Ah! Hit the light with the hammer to control the height of the robot. Okay, so I need to go to the hammer one. Ooh. Ooh. Yes, did it. Okay. Now, it's a boat. Snappy? Elephant. And some grapes. Oh. Here we go. I'm on fucking high alert constantly, like, waiting for something to come and mess me up. Hold this!
I'll just wait around here until I know which way I need to go. It's a clock. Do we need more seconds? Because it couldn't do harm. I'll do you hydrate in a sec, Stina. Thank you. Okay. What now? Do I go? No. Shit. Alright, I'll do the hydration now. Which character would you hug, Yugi or Elmira? <laughs> Do you reckon that thing opens up the gate up here? Nightbots uh, definitely piped up today. Amiibo are we doing? Oh shit! Can I rewind? I'll rewind that. Isabel. You wanna see Isabel? Alright, we'll do you Isabel. Really Animaniacs Amiibo. No, I need to rewind further than that. Behave. Oh, I guess the, the, it isn't compatible with a Rewind the Mega Drive emulator on there. So we'll continue, and then I'll do the Your, your Isabel. Fuck the police, is what I'm saying. Here's Isabel right here. Don't even have to move. There's your Isabel. She's a good dog. She works hard. She's good at her job. And uh, she's like something to do with Animaniacs, possibly. I don't know. And she's also annoying. <laughs> she says some silly things in the morning, like, yeah, about stuff that she watched on TV. And she repeats the same stuff weekly, but yeah. I've got to start from the beginning again. Bang Isabel with a hammer. Oh, I got onto it without killing the pigeon before, didn't I? The hammer's just not working. Where's the other... I keep forgetting it's A button to switch characters on this. No, that's not working. There we go.
I don't even need, didn't even need to do that, did I? Do the main thing here. Smack that shit. You wanna bang your Isabel with a hammer? <laughs> in a cartoon way or in like a literal murder Isabel way? Doesn't give you enough of a chance at that point. Better than Animal Crossing. <laughs> It doesn't have Isabel in it, I guess. Although I don't know, it, it, it might have invented Isabel. Is Isabel the last boss? My right, do my correct dude lined up. No. Hmm. I just see if I can rewind, because that's a pain in the uh, the ass, isn't it? Three wounds. Do it. A point. Probably way too far, but whatever. Love the legally distinct from Indiana Jones music. Isabel's on the chip shop wall. Do I set, make a save state in front of here? If it supports save states. I think it does. Oh! What? No! I'm just going to have to play it proper, aren't I? Look. This is just... I just don't know. I, I'm going to have to just play the game as it is. Tom looks definitely worse than Isabel. Uh, Lottie. Lottie's not even in New Horizons. Hey, I'm a man. Ah, oh, you need to. Ball bags! I'm not gonna get past this fucking level, am I?
It's the rip-off of your dog. Does your dog tell you what she watched on TV every morning? RSPCA. You gotta line it up fucking perfectly. Uh, this is just just gonna be redoing this. We got three hours of this. Redoing the same section of the game. Hammer violence, yeah. More animaniacs. Oh! <laughs> it doesn't stay down long enough. Tiny Tunes uploaded to Twitch. Let's try again. She's getting less far every time, aren't I? Not that I got far the first time. Forgot about Tiny Tunes. I played Tiny Toons game on Talking Real as two or three weeks ago. Hi, Endless Raining, by the way. The hot topic is Yu Gi Oh! or Tiny Toons or something like that. Hey, Joe! He's contributed some Talking Rail Peas to the Jackbox Night Challenge. We'll do a like, Jackbox stream when that gets to the 100%. Thank you. Alright, let's time this properly. These sports. No! Mm, this is annoying the hell out of me. Tiny Toon Adventures, what, it was probably like what, 1990, 1991? The characters can't duck down, no I've got to hit it with a hammer at the right point. So I've got to line myself up with, uh, at the right spot and then also hit it at, at the right time, not too early. Which I've managed to the first time, but no, no time since then. Ah, uh, and not too late as well. There we go. I can't do save states in this game or rewind though, so... This bit, I feel that it, I, 
I didn't have many problems with it the first time, but I should have. So I'm definitely going to fuck it up this time. Oh shit. Oh, it's... Mather fucking elephants. Got some grapes. The Animaniacs float. Fuck the police! Oh, what?! It fucked us! Got bummed by the police! That's uh, alright. I'm not going to bother getting the clock because it's wishful thinking that I'm going to be able to spend the next 444 seconds not dying. Oh shit! I, ju I, I didn't mean to get the clock, but I just did. It was just there. No! F. I'm gonna not start again. I'm not continuing. I'm gonna start again and try to go for a different level. Gotta go through the first bit again now. This is on the Mega Drive, this one. The last one that I played was Super Nintendo. Completely different game. Looks similar, obviously, but yeah. Should we try level two? That's bound to be a lot easier. Space Wars. Space Trucking. Space Wars is one of my all-time favorite movies. Yeah. When Doom Raider told Ike Skywriter that he was his second cousin, I almost fainted. Wouldn't it be great if we could get Doom Raider's helmet for our hip pop culture shop? Yeah. And may the fast be with us. I think that this uh, level might be slightly uh, Star Wars based. Some space bullshit, yeah. Okay.
That was a bit from The Simpsons. Use the forks. I don't remember that. Oh, I hope that would uh, bridge the gap, but I guess it's supposed to be so you can get up there, but I can't now. What's the spin-off of Spongebob? Shit, I was reading chat and I just walked off the end there. that one. Hmm. Bob Esponja. What am I meant to do here? Throw a kiss at the bird? Yeah. Sex, ball sex. Oh, shit. I guess that's meant to happen there. That is unfair there. My, I'd say I continue, but I'm only at the start of that level anyway. Which of the games that I've got installed on this thing would people want to see next? hope those things don't shit on me. You're enjoying this more than I am, I tell you that. I don't like constantly failing. The, the, the control mechanics aren't very that tight. They're a bit... Like, I've, I've, met, I've played a lot worse, like, 16-bit platform-wise, but they're just... Uh, gonna say. <laughs> I'll carry on with this game then. I just thought I'd, I'd be pissing everyone off by uh, just playing the start of each level again and again and again and again and not actually getting any better. In fact, getting worse. Find me some passwords. Some action replay codes. Unlimited lives.
We also played it back. You also played it back in the day when we had better reflexes as children and more patience for games. Any game was good, even shit games. Not saying this is a shit game, but you know, shit games were valid games that you would put dozens of hours into back then, because often it'd be the only game you had. Mega Drive had better licensed games, yeah. It definitely had more of a licensed thing going on. It's probably cheaper to uh, publish on as well. You didn't have to get your fucking Nintendo seal of approval. Oh no, don't go Animaniacs official! You go back into the tower. Alright. Enjoy your weekend. What do I have to do for this fucker? Like, I spend all this time trying to work out what to do, and then I die, and then it's like you're just thrown back, and it's like I learnt nothing. Bye bye! Have a great Easter. And check out the SpongeBob SquarePants. I don't know what to do with it. I guess that's a boss, but I just... I'm at a loss other than trying to dodge the fucker and not get damaged. Tease him with the bat. The bat and ball hasn't been very uh, useful. No. There. I mean, did that damage him? I don't think so. Oh! I, I'm still at a loss of what actually I should have done there. You didn't miss Animaniacs, no gold bears. Still got the little train next to your name. Did you hope to miss Animaniacs? Golbez. You you haven't got a, a you haven't got other uh, twi uh, Twitch accounts, have you? Did you decide to be uh, Yako Animaniac and Animaniacs official? Was that you? I don't actually think it was. It's just some incredible timing there. No, I don't actually think it was you. I was joking. No, no, there was. If you watch it back, watch the some of this stream back if you have any other spare time in your life. I don't know whether I should jump for it or if that's a that if that's a like impassable chasm. There, that's good. Yeah, the uh, the two uh, like troll accounts or whatever they are just logged off as you logged on. The official home for the Animaniacs. No, no one's... It's the, the, t the follows. There was someone with two accounts that was... Uh, talking about cartoons. They had to block them temporarily. This is not getting me all the way up there, is it? 
That's what she said. I don't know what to do. It's nothing to do with that. The thing that I don't like about this game, it's not uh, entirely clear, like, there's no f constant logic behind which of your skills do what things. So you, it's a lot of trial and error, and by the time you've tried it, you've probably already died trying, if you get that. Oh, the, the other Animaniacs game, like, this is, like, tricky. The other Animaniacs game was straight up fucking difficult, like, troll level difficult. This one, I just can't work out what I'm doing, I keep dying stupidly. Ugh. I'm just gonna be stuck here for the next couple of hours. Don't mind me. Oh, there we are. It worked that time. If at first you don't succeed, just do the same thing again and again and again. Yeah, the other one I said was like a Mario Maker troll level, but as an official video game. It was like zero chill. They were just, and it was like fucking bullet hell enemies and all sorts of shit going on at the same time. Constantly had to fucking dodge things. Like, what do I do here? Let's try and destroy the crate, no. Over here. I just... what? Have I tried the... No, that doesn't work on there. That doesn't work. That doesn't work on there. I guess I do have to go over. Maybe I broke the bricks in the wrong way. just sometimes works and sometimes doesn't. Alright. I've got to do it in a different way this time. Although I'm not sure how it's possible. Try again. It seems poorly designed. But 
that I'm just doing exactly the same fucking thing, aren't I? Try and keep that crate up there. So I can jump on it. Uh, didn't work. I'm sure there must be a way. It's annoying that you have to do this to reset them though. And sometimes he won't jump to the right. I just can't see any other way of doing this. I'm very close to putting on a different game. I'll give it one more go and then the game's changing. Controls are absolutely appalling. I think they, they it controlled better in the if these controls were on the other Animaniacs game, it would be impossible to do anything in it. I've got a few games on the this, so I'll go through them again. I went through them at the start of the stream, but I know you weren't around, so I'll go through what I've got. I don't think we'll do Taiko today. I think I'll leave that for a Thursday stream, just for people that saw it yesterday and wanted to see the rest of it. Ah, bastard. Plus the Switch isn't even in this room currently. So I'm going to play games on this. Maybe actually, actually, I'll play Chaotix next. 32x game. I'm definitely going to finish it. It's definitely going to get finished the next time I play it. Alright, this game's going off. I've had enough of it. We will now play Knuckles Chaotix. I didn't have a 32X, so I never played this game back in the day. The Bits game's off the list. Yeah, if you want to find out what Bits game is, just do uh, hashtag Bits game. Bits game was like pushed off the list with all the nonsense that happened yesterday evening. change the name of the game in the stream. So this is a Sonic the Hedgehog game without Sonic. But made use of the, uh, the 32X. fancy pseudo 3D nonsense. Featuring Knuckles the Echidna, welcome to the next level in 32X World. Hey, Gold Bears! Thank you for Bits Gaming, we'll spin the wheel for you. It definitely prefers Try Again. It lands on that so much, even though it's less than a quarter of the wheel. Hat, 
What kind of hat do you want? We got the Mario, Luigi, the Luigi visor, we got the chef's hat, we've got the Minecraft beanie. It's your pick. Chef hat. All right. The most ridiculous of the fucking hats. There you go. I'll full screen that. Like and subscribe. Robotnik. This mighty the chameleon. Oh, I, f I forgot all about this. Good way to gauge your lag, probably about half a minute. Press A button to call your partner. I'm trying to work out what button set as A button on this. Oh, press B button to hold, hold your partner and release to throw. Press C button to jump. I'm sure we'll work it out. Actually, as a like, this has got to be an early example of like an in-game tutorial like this in a platform game. You didn't get none of this in Sonic One, Two, and Three. I haven't worked out which button's which at the moment. So B is B, but it's backwards on this. A is, like, so B is B. A, C is the A button on this. And Y is the A button on that, if that makes sense. I know it doesn't make sense, that's what I'm getting at. So B is B, but it's a different position on the controller. Press right. Charge the ring power. I need to go back, 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 back. Press B button, press right. I need to reconfigure the controller. Buttons are in like an L shape. I'm char is this charging? What's step four? Give me step four. It tells me to press right whenever I let go of right, so I just stay holding right for a bit. Can I just do a do a Sonic the Hedgehog thing? No, it won't let me pass until I've done this. That's what I get for playing Mega Drive games. Or 32X games. I'm holding right and B. Have I really got to hold it for this long? 
just saying hold. Like we might not get off the fucking 32x was like a mushroom that you plugged into the top of your Mega Drive to make it into a 32-bit console. It extended the life of the Mega Drive by about a week. So by that time, it was pretty much people were already onto the Saturn and, play, and indeed PlayStation. And there were some games that used the Mega CD as well, which plugged under your Mega Drive. So it was like a fucking free tier console. And then you could plug your Sonic and Knuckles cartridge into the 32X. And then you could plug Sonic the Hedgehog 3 into your Sonic and Knuckles cartridge. But for some reason... It's not letting me get past this section here. Yeah, Sonic and Knuckles. So Sonic and Knuckles uh, was basically the cut content from Sonic 3, released as its own game, and it interacted with uh, Sonic 3 and also older Sonic games, like Sonic 2, by plugging it into the cartridge. But it wasn't a 32x game. This was the 32x game, Knuckles Chaotix. Although it looks like I'm not going to get past the first screen. I don't get it! I'm holding the B button, I'm pressing right, it's saying hold. Let's just button mash. I'm just fucking sucking at games today. I say today, forever. I'm playing Monster Hunter, Hunter quite uh, well now, but this, I can't get off the first screen. I'm doing exactly what it says and have been for the last five to ten minutes. Why is it not charging the ring? Or do you reckon this is like a troll thing that they put in for, like, if you pirate the game? They do that in some games. That you just can't get past a certain bit. Alright, I give up. Pass that. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed that. So we've got these games here. Most of them are legal backups. I do own most of these games actually. Not Chaotix though. Yeah, that was, the gameplay was definitely much worse than the uh, anime. Show and tell. Should we play Call cool Spot? My favourite game so far today was the McDonald's Treasure Land Adventure. I had Call Spot on the Game Boy. Where was that? So what what kind of amiibo do you want, Golbez? We can play Mario is missing. That is absolutely fucking abysmal. Cool spot. Hello. 
I do have a Sonic Amiibo. It's the only Sonic Amiibo. Gotta go fast. It's everybody's favourite Nintendo character from Smash Brothers. It is Sonic the Hedgehog. As featured in Sonic Heroes, Sonic 2006, and like the, the Werehog nonsense and stuff. And also, Nintendo Smash Brothers series. There we go. Yeah, we're, we're advertising Virgin here, aren't we? Mario isn't missing, he's dead, yeah. Mario died. I've got my mug for Mario to commemorate his life and times. And I just spilt some tea over my keyboard and mouse. It's Mario trying to tell me something from beyond the grave. Oh, I remember this screen. Fucked up they still have the death sentence for video game characters. Yeah, Mario's gone. He's not coming back. There won't be any Mario 36. Mario was executed by Nintendo. And it wasn't even just an April Fool's joke. Literally killed him. Gotta collect all of the spots. How cool is the cool spot though? It's like too cool. Ah! Alright, he wasn't that cool. I'm collecting shit. I mean, I don't even know if I need to collect them all, but I'm, I am anyway. Time for Super Mario Age of Bowser. Yeah, it's the dark timeline where Nintendo kills Mario and then Kaiju Bowser takes over the world. Ah, uh, higher percentage of call. I've got a fucking mosquito gu gunning for me. Can I kill these things? I can. Oh, there's a 7-up. Bottle of 7-up. The 90s loved their uh, product placement in video games. The sound effects in this video game are something else. Yeah, it's like they uh, got some out of just a fucking catalogue. You just randomly collect the uh, 7-Up logo. Yeah. Cool spot keeps hydrated. Oh! Hydration! Stop and hydrate! And you can hydrate too! As you know, you, you can keep hydrating, it's pro gamer move, but as you also know, it is illegal for the streamer to, to hydrate themselves without hydrate being uh, redeemed in chat. So thank you, Gaming Amelia, for keeping me alive, basically. Man, I could do with some 7-Up here, I don't know about you. That mosquito bastard needs to fuck off. I look a Walkman. That is too cool for school. I'm, think, I'm pretty sure that's like the third time I've said that in the last five minutes. Hey, Jamie. Thank you for contributing a total of 1,879 to the Jackbox Night Challenge. Which is already, is it already beating uh, Snow White and the Seven Clever Boys? This game was an advert. 
some versions of it they removed the 7 up stuff from though, which is weird. But Cool Spot wasn't like shovelware at the time. Cool Spot was quite, you know, it was the front cover of games magazines and everything. At least I know what I'm doing wrong in this game. I'm not just getting stuck like I did in the last two games. Just got completely stuck. I would like to play Chaotix, but I might need to see if I can uh, recalibrate the controller at all. Because that might be the problem. Although it did show that I was pressing right and B. And it wouldn't tell me what to do next. And no button worked. Fucking mosquito! Get fucked! Give me some 7 up. Should we play something that isn't a platform game next? Or should we just play more Animaniacs? Jackbox. So, oh, it's getting worse at this game. Jackbox Party Pack. They're, if you haven't heard of them, they're games that you can basically play along remotely using your phone. It's like sort of quiz games, but not quite. It's just, it's just various uh, ways of being rude slash silly in in various mini games. Yeah, there's like seven Jackbox party packs. We've played it before on charity streams on Talking Rail, but it turns out they're, they're bad to play during charity streams because people are like, they, they watch it. But then the chat just goes down because people are playing with their phones and also nobody has ever donated during a Jackbox stream. During Jackbox. When we, so we don't do it for charity anymore. Pictionary type game. Rap battle. Yeah, you got a rap, you got a rap battle with DJ Damien. I challenge you. You rapping call. Yeah, the viewers can join in on their own devices. Or you can just watch along. You can also, if you don't want to play, you can be the audience member. So you can put, like, basically, an example, you have to draw, a game where you have to draw stuff, people generally draw decks. And then the players vote for the best picture of a dick. That isn't actually a game, but it, it might as well be one of the Jackbox games. And then you can become, you can be an audience member if you don't want to play, and you get to vote on what you think the best dick pick is. Yes, yeah, kind of Cards Against Humanity. There's lots of. It's about at this point about 40 different like mini games. Some of them work better when you're in a room with people. Some of them, some of them are just just as good remotely. No. Good at the rap one, but I would be no chance against the the DJ Damien, the DJ Damien that did the Legend of Art. I probably said this during the DJ Damien uh, gig stream, so stop me if I'm repeating that or you've all heard it. But I was in an arcade in London playing DDR in like this was like 2017 when someone asked because I put in my name as DJ Damien after playing a game of DDR. 
some random ass person came up to me and said, are you the DJ Damien that, that did Legend of Art? And I was thrown back. I was like, I am. And I haven't heard that question in a long time. That was weird. Because it was like... At least ten years since anyone fucking said anything like that. Yes, Cool Spot's got 420 on the timer. Cool Spot definitely smokes weed. Getting it there now. I'm just getting worse at this game, aren't I? At least I know what I'm doing wrong. That's the that's the main thing. Not knowing what you're doing wrong is worse. And the guy in the arcade said that him and his brother play my songs on Step Mania, and I said. I just said, you know, for something to say, I said, when was the the last time you actually played one of the DJ Damien songs on Step Mania? And he said it was that week. Uh, okay. Really weird. Because Legend of Art was for, uh, 2003. This arcade uh, thing happened in like 2017. Like, even I hadn't played them in over 10 years at that point. Yes! Cole Spot is out of jail with his bro! Unused time bonus. 7 up! Come on, get me that 7-up. Or 1-up, as it is. Peer pressure. I remember that. I mean, the, the level being called that. I also am aware of the concept of peer pressure. But that's the pun, isn't it? Peer pressure. Oh no, worms! Fuck these worms! I don't like it. don't like it already. I ain't got the fucking patience for this shit. I should just play some uh, Mario Maker troll levels now. They won't seem as harsh, possibly, against actual 90s non-Nintendo games. This game was probably the first time I encountered the phrase peer pressure anyway, so I probably didn't even get the pun originally. Nope. Those worms are annoying. I'm going up, 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 up. It wants me to go up, but not that well. I was just following the, the hand. F. Come on, Cool Spot, you can do. Oh no, we've made Cool Spot cry. Let's cheer him up with a, a bottle of 7 Up, some logos from the sponsors, and like a bong. We'll light up your bong, Cool Spot, you'll be alright. I have a cool spot to show the doctor. <laughs> That's not cool. It's a spot, but it's not cool. It's very not cool. Uh-oh. 
hopes I dodged that. Yes, seven up. Refreshment. It's just... As it goes, I just get worse. Guess she didn't have dare. It's dare. What? What's that? Trying to run through it too quickly. I need to take my time. Chill. Cool spots are chilled, dude. He's got plenty of time. He's just phoned his dealer. He's just got to hang around on the beach for a couple of hours, then he'll be sorted. Nah worries. Where's my 7-Up fam? Program in schools to stop kids from doing drugs. Nah, we had Grange Hill doing that fi thing. Just say no. I mean, even if it was before this, I might, you know, I'm, I still might have not heard the phrase peer pressure before the early 90s. That's what was harsh about these fucking platform games, that they were quite short, but they were difficult, and if you died, you went back to the start of the game. Unless you could be bothered with passwords, which you had to, otherwise you definitely would never finish a game. Even Super Mario Land on the Game Boy is a game that every time you played it, you had to start. It was only like a 20 minute long game. Every time you played it, you had to start. The idea was just start it from the beginning and see if you can finish it. And then you'd do it again. Perhaps jotting down your score to see if you can beat your score at the end. But games just worked differently back in the day. I had Cool Spot on the Game Boy. I remember it being exactly like this, but a lot less colourful, obviously. And I did finish it. I need to challenge, uh, channel my patience and skills as a child. So I can not suck on stream. Hey Lars! Aren't you out and about? Oh, there's me 7-Up. How has your day been? Happy Good Friday. You've missed some delightful games, including the Ronald McDonald game and Animaniacs, which I got stuck in after sucking at. Get out of jail quick, come on. What? What happened? Should we play Zero Wing?
The end of the world was nothing to write home about. It was nice to visit your grandparents' graves. At the end of the world. Oh shit. None of my grandparents have graves. Like, I literally don't know a single family member who's been buried. Like, as far as I know, their ashes just ended up in the back of someone's shed. We're on a grim subject now, aren't we? I couldn't tell you, like, a single person I know that's that's been buried, to be fair. It's pretty much like a posh thing here. Or like super religious. But you need you need money for a grave. I found the cage. You didn't let me open it. Minor cremated, no idea about the ashes, yeah. I remember I was at my granddad's, one of my granddad's funerals and someone asked my dad where, like, his mum was, because we're in the, the funeral was in the, the cemetery, the graveyard, and he was like, over there, and they're like, oh, where's, where's her grave? And he's like, no, that's where we scattered the ashes. Couldn't have fold a grave. And my mum's mum's ashes, we literally had them in a thing. She said where she wanted them scattered. I can't remember where they were or if, if it actually happened in the end. But yeah, we literally had it in a fucking, like a padded envelope in the garden shed. Welcome back, Animaniacs. We're not playing Animaniacs anymore. We're playing the 7-Up advert. <laughs> Fucking wasps. Like a wasp to 7-Up. Allow it. Scatter me in Primark. Yeah, peck and Primark. Just throw your ashes in someone's basket. By the Harry Potter section. There'll be a new thing by then, hopefully. And Primark might not exist anymore. Scatter the ashes of Primark. me down but when I go down it want me to go right so I go right oh I go behind this okay put my ashes in a fidget spinner or some dumb shit yeah use my ashes as fucking on a DDR machine give them to give them to a, a, a pro stepper and use it as use my ashes as talcum powder, so that they their their PA is better on an in the groove machine. That's what I want doing with my ashes. K dog. Clog and break an ITG machine. Well, pr that's that's what the fucking the Tolkien powder does. But the players love it. You're not going to get a hundred percent without Tolkien powder in your bag. 
Essential items to bring to an arcade. Talcum powder. Non-essential items. Deodorant. Pro in the groove. Hi, Gecko. Oh, shit. What, what even got me there? Can't go too quickly because I don't know what perils lie above. Anyway, have we got another subject? We seem to exhausted all we all we can about the the grave ashes thing. Any any Easter shit? Anyone got any good Easter eggs? Gonna get to have some non-vegan chocolate on Easter Sunday. Got one filled with chocolate. How big is it? Is it like sock huge solid egg? Fuck those wasps. Hate them. My Easter's been pretty fucking shite, but hoping it'll turn around. I mean, it's not Easter yet, so it's just Good Friday. I mean, Good Friday was pretty fucking shite for our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. But, uh, you know, spoiler alert, if you read a few a few chapters further into the, the, the Bible, I think it was called, he had an okay Easter in the end, so hopefully it perks up for you as well, Stina. How fancy is the ice cream? We had Ben and Jerry's uh, vegan uh, peanut butter cup yesterday. It's good. We hate the whole fucking thing. Buy and fill yourself. An Easter egg that you buy and fill yourself. Never seen one. No, that's not what I wanted. I wanted to not be hurt. There's a fish there. Halo tops. All oh, right, yeah, yeah. We've had that. They do that in uh, parent food sometimes. Halo top. I'm not a massive fan, to be fair. A sermon from a bloke in a chef's hat. If you want me to change my hat, if you want a sermon from a bloke in a fake Luigi hat, or, you know, impersonating the dead Mario, all you need to do is have luck and 88 or more bits. Full bags. We've made him cry. Should we play a different game now? Let's play Global Gladiators. Flavors peanut butter, chocolate chip, candy bar, and salted caramel. What would candy bar even be? 
that's very nondescript, is Wolfing Global Gladiators. Hopefully. Did they make a, like, Gladiators video game? I think they must have. I, I, I can think, I can picture it in my mind, but I might have made it up. But here we go. Mick and Mac is the Global Gladiators. TM McDonald's Corporation. McDonald's fam. Available on Uber Eats. Wow, the Globy, the Global Gladiators are way awesome. Yeah, being a gladiator would be a total blast. This is rad fam. How about this? Pedophile Ronald McDonald's just done something and now the kids are walking around with guns. Has anyone played this game before? This get this game came out before the Ronald McDonald uh, treasure game. I just want to pause it to see what I've missed in chat. Hey, look, top pisses me off because some is non-dairy and some isn't, and my grocery store mixes them together. Yeah, that's what I get. I always think that Halo Top's going to be non-dairy, but some of them is just uh, low calorie, but but still dairy. This music, OMG. Alright, so we got a gun. This button jumps. And he, he seems to be just chewing uh, bubble gum. Or maybe maybe he's got a, he's he's added a, a bit of an iffy chicken McNugget. He's taking a bit of a bit of chewing to go down the gullet. I like how all the uh, fast food chains, it's like McDonald's is practically the only one that's not making video games now. They got it out of their system back in the early 90s. Leaving it to fucking KFC and Burger King. Unless there is a new McDonald's game that I hadn't heard of. Like everything's just the fucking golden archies, but palette swapped. Like what what is the story behind this? A kid sitting eating in McDonald's and Ronald McDonald comes up to him and now he's fucking fighting snot monsters in some hellscape. Lucigens in them nugs, yeah. They not doing the uh, Monopoly this year. They normally do the Monopoly in McDonald's during Lent, because I know because I can't fucking eat I, I eat McDonald's during Lent normally when I give up all fast food and all burgers and all chips and stuff. I've just gone vegan this year. Vegan and donuts the only things I've given up this year. No, I haven't given up vegan. I've just gone fully vegan. Imagine having a box of 20. Yes, mate, where would that take you? Ronald Sex Dungeon. It's Ronald Sex Dungeon, the video game. Who are? Fuck you, snot monster. And you. You can piss off too. Oh shit. Oh, it's alright. 
I mean, this is so... The other one... This is so loosely McDonald's, isn't it? Is that... OMG, so once I went to McDonald's and ordered a one-pound cheeseburger, it had no meat patty in it. It was literally just a hot cheese sandwich with ketchup. I've accidentally ordered in Max Burger in Sweden. I've accidentally ordered a cheese sandwich twice because I thought the halloumi burger was the uh, was going to be a burger with halloumi in it, but it's a bur burger with halloumi instead of a burger. And then I made the same mistake again. And then I ordered in this country like last year, fucking ordered the halloumi whopper from Burger King. Same shit. Dry. It was like eating a bit of fucking leather. No burger. Do not recommend. I ordered it takeout, so I didn't realise until I got home. <laughs> Numb pizza, left beef. When you order on, like, in McDonald's now through the terminals, you can customise it so you can ask for like no bun or no patty and stuff. You just take everything out and just like put like pickles in the in the paper and that's all. Eating le level won't be vegan either. Oh, what am I walking on? Just had an extra dose of those sweet hallucinogens. Why have I not died yet? I shouldn't be saying shit like that, should I? Scatter my ashes in Peckham McDonald's. Cannot see how Lumi Berg is anything about dry. Yeah, if you put the right, like if you make a Lumi thick enough. And don't like complete, but basically don't microwave the stuff. It, it could be nice and moist. No slime is good slime, as they often say in gladiator circles. Okay. But yeah, if you put enough good things in with it, yeah. It's how I ordered mine, but definitely had the beef in there. They just forgot the beef in the burger. I've got to keep pausing because I get to read the chat. I've never had breaded halloumi in a burger. But if it's fried halloumi with chilli jam and a nice brioche, it's good. Hey, Lars. Thank you for cheering. That's a uh, bits game. So we'll spin the wheel for you. Is it going to go and try again? It fucking well is. Jinxed it by making that try again. It's, it seems to be weighted towards try again. Oh, it's hydrate. It's where Tiki's Dicky lands. Thank you, Lars. In Burger King, they may call gluten-free burgers plain. So not even ketchup. Burger King is such a disjointed franchise in this country. It's like they all sing by their own hymn sheet. Most of the Burger Kings I know of are completely horrible. Burger King is something I can only handle, my stomach can only handle if it's already fucked from alcohol. It is exclusively hangover food. Least favorite Burger King. There we go, whoops. Burger King uh, in, is it, Charing Cross Station in London. It's absolutely fucking abysmal and quite expensive. If got desperate at the service station, I get a wrap, but they stop doing them. It's a... Burger King down the road from me never has anyone in there. That's the thing where you get some Burger Kings where it's just like there's, there's no staff. It's like a Burger King that's like run by two people and they turn everything off between uh, 
like those are the weirdest ones where they turn everything off. And it's like, oh, it's just, it's so inconsistent what you're gonna get. I wouldn't go back to the one in uh, the center of Manchester as well, that's dodgy. And the one at the Manchester station doesn't take the vouchers and all that. You know, Burger King has their fucking app where you get vouchers and stuff. And you can't use it at certain Burger Kings, although it doesn't, that's what they point out. Every time you try and use them in a Burger King, they're like, oh, you can't use it in this Burger King. It says on there it's select locations only. It's like, is there a way of telling the location? No. Burger King's passable in Spain, although they try and rip you off every time. Remember when they were doing the 20 nuggets for 2 euros? And they try. I, I ordered 20 nuggets. And they tried to charge me something like 8 euros? And I even pointed to the 20 nuggets sign when I ordered. And I was like, no. It's 20 nuggets for 2 euros. I was like, oh, do you want the deal? Okay. That's a different thing though. All right, okay. Basically, and then they pressed it in the thing and suddenly it was uh, 2 euros. That sort of thing's happened to me three times in Burger King in Spain. That I've noticed. Other times they've probably just ripped me off. And that, that another one was when it was two burgers for two two euros. So I ordered the two for two, and they tried to charge me like nine euros for it. And they said, "Oh no, that's only if you get it with large fries. Uh, that's only if you get it with medium fries." And I'd ordered large fries. I'm like, "What? All right, I'll have medium fries then." Now, all right, there you go. Took the money off. Rip off greater than failing hygiene inspection, yeah. I think I'm getting to the point where I just keep dying in this game now. Whoopsie, whoopsie, whoopsie. Probably never try it in Norway because you have Max. Yeah, Max is, uh, kebab's quite good, but Max in Norway is, yeah, the best. Go to London, West Ealing. Uh, not West Ealing, well, near West Ealing, South Ealing, West Kebab. And the place that delivers to us, the, uh, I can't even remember what it was. Uh, we've got two really good, like, fresh kebab places that deliver to us here. Like, not dirty, and you can get halloumi in your kebab. Obviously not vegan, any of what I'm talking about. There's the, the Greek place that does the vegan kebab as well, which is really good there. Bath Supper Bar. That's the place near that delivers to here. Making me fucking hungry. I don't even know what I'm eating for dinner tonight. Google Bath Supper Bar Manchester. I mean, the building looks like a fucking steak. But... Have a look at the, 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 the mixed kebab that has chicken donna, chicken uh, other do lamb donna, and halloumi in it. I just keep falling down there. At least it's letting me restart at the exact point there, although there we go, game over. I would jinx it, wouldn't I? I only ate at Burger King once last year, and that was when we ordered the fucking the halloumi cheese sandwich. Are you ready? Yeah. Got some LED lights in your kitchen. You, ready? Awesome. Yeah. you had the magic tap. Okay. Play Sonic Advance 3. Should we play a ROM hack? Let's play Wario Land 4. I think it's a Super, uh, Super Mario World ROM hack. It'll go with my t-shirt. My Super Nintendo. Lars's magic fingers. <laughs> Eyebrows.
Zombi uh, like uh, zombies ate my neighbours. That was the English name for it because the zombies ate my neighbours. It wouldn't pass test as a, a video game. It sounded too violent. So w we played it during the uh, Spooking Real a few years ago. I don't know why I'm drinking stone cold tea. Captain Syrup has stole all of Wario's treasures. Help Wario restore his treasure and defeat Captain Syrup to save the island. This isn't an official game, by the way. This is a, a ROM hack. I don't know how good it is. I've never played it before. Just thought I'd put some ROM hacks on here. Can you jump on these things? I think you can. You can, but I got fucked in the process. The sound seems pretty low on this game. I'll turn it up here. Yes, mate, is that garlic? Yeah, Super Wario Land. Wahaha. <laughs> Oh shit. Blah. Try that again. Any other requests? Uh, I realise we're in our final hour of the stream. Any other requests from the, the set of games that you've seen me cycle through a couple of times? Ah, oh, you bastard, that shouldn't have touched me. These different power-ups. Any other product placement? I'm not sure, but probably. More Animaniacs. Yeah, let's start Animaniacs again. I could start, I could finish the stream by starting Animaniacs again. But we haven't got our official Animaniacs friends here anymore, I don't think. That, see, the platform is not tight enough here. Wario's a lot more floaty than he should be. They were official. It was the official Animaniacs. Yeah, I'll try the other levels. We'll do that. We'll finish the stream of Animaniacs. Oh, it's a superstar. As seen on Splatfest. Fuck the pirates. They were the official Animaniacs. It was like the literal characters from the, the uh from the cartoon were in the stream. Seems like the levels are all open up already. The ROM hack like come with a completed file or something. Go 
going back to Burger King, another memory of mine was of Burger King was there was a brand new Burger King in Peckham. It was all like space age fancy ass looking. So they started filming like their UK Burger King adverts there. And there was one advert for uh, that they filmed there, one of the first ones. It was a promotion they were doing in like, I think it's about 2001 now. For, I can't remember which colour, I think it's like, you get a special straw when you order a large meal. And if you suck the straw, it either turns blue or pink. And if it turns pink, you win something. I just can't, I can't remember how it determined what thing you won, or if it's more colours than blue and pink. But yeah, I went to that McDonald's with a few friends, because it was the one off the advert. It was friends from out of London. And the five of us all ordered a meal, and all got a winning straw. We all got a winning straw, and we got a chicken, uh, like a chicken tender sandwich, for free. So, I ordered another drink, with a straw, they gave me one of the straws. Yeah, this thing just seems to, like, all of the levels seem to be open. This one seems to be the next level. There, boss one. But yeah, the, the other straw was a winning straw. I, I could have told that story more compellingly. It's just something weird. It wasn't really interesting. Who's this bastard? Tie-dye mood rings, etc. We had an all-night McDonald's in Peckham as well. Went there one night. Because we are fucked, absolutely drunk. Been drinking for like, perhaps, like, 15 hours. So we went to go to McDonald's because it was all night. At like 4 o'clock in the morning. And it was closed because they were filming a fucking McDonald's advert. They had a sign saying reopening 8am. Apologies. They were filming an advert inside the McDonald's. So instead we hung around. We walked up and down Old Kent Road trying to find somewhere that was open at 4am and nowhere was. And then we waited until 6am for a fucking greasy spoon to open. And then, and then I got grief for asking for a coffee, as you often do in those places. It's like, tea? No, coffee. Ugh, coffee! There's always one. Like that, it was the worst coffee I'd ever had. It was like cheap powder coffee. And they had, they had some like milk mixed with hot water in a cup. And they just tossed a spoon, like a teaspoon of the powder coffee on top of the milk. And then just passed it over. I always remember that, even though I've been awake for like over a day at that point. Oh, yeah, Maggie's is like that. It's wor at worse than Maggie's. Should we go on to Animaniacs? I'm just going to take a uh, like one minute break and then we're back for, with some Animaniacs for all you Animaniac lovers. Like and subscribe.
Where's my fucking pen? Alright. It's Animaniacs time. I'll just change the name of the game in the stream to Animaniacs. Just in case some uh, Animaniacs fans want to come. I had to change it to Wario because that's not a real game. Where's my fucking pen? Maggie's Cafe. Maggie's Cat. I could have played Mario's Missing, but that's for another time. Mario is not missing. Mario is dead. It's the new game for Mario's 36th anniversary. Mario is murdered. Wario is crying. It's Animaniacs. I'm gonna have to turn the sound down a bit. Is that about the right level? Let me know if I need to adjust it again. Alright. We're gonna speedrun this motherfucker. Fluffer doesn't think I'm gonna speedrun this. Couldn't have done that quicker. Alright, let's try level 3, which is definitely not going to be as tricky as level 1 and 2. They just don't make movies like this anymore. Fortunately, they don't make titles like it anymore either. I always used to pretend that I was Sheriff Jeffro Anderson. Galloping into the sunset horse. I thought I was supposed to be the horse that gal it was supposed to be the horse that galloped. Hey Dotty! Whenever you talk to me, shut up. <laughs> Game volume could go up a teeny bit. Okay. Right, we got Wild Wild West now. The worst, actually, talking about going back to McDonald's, the worst thing I've ever had in McDonald's, they were testing out fried chicken, like fried chicken on the bone in McDonald's in Rotherhive. And it was called the, the McChicken Crispy, or the McCrispy Chicken, or something like that. And my... I, I need to, like, I'll go full screen for it. So, it was... It was the worst fried chicken I'd ever seen in my life. It was, there were bones, it, like rib cage that had been smashed and it was just sticking out of the, the thing. There were feathers over it. I kept a few of the battered feathers in a little camera film case for a while after just to show people. And there were like bloody veins inside it. It wasn't cooked properly. And I tried to eat some, I don't know why I didn't ask for a refund or that. We were just laughing and taking pictures of it. I called it the... Obviously, it is a dead chicken. But I called it the dead chicken. And... Uh, there was a big sign up outside. They had like a, a, like a pyramid like truck back sign. Like a triangular one. With the exclusive... Exclusive. The chicken crispy. And I, I lobbed my chick, the rest of my chicken at the sign. And it fucking stuck. It was disgusting. It was so bad. I don't know why they thought... And it was expensive for fried chicken as well. It was annoying. And I don't know why they thought out of everywhere. South London's pretty much catered for chicken shops. I don't know why they thought they'd uh, test out really bad fried chicken in South London. But they failed. I never saw it at any other McDonald's. I'm glad I'm not eating chicken tonight. <laughs> the chef's that is selling this, yeah. 
some Japanese video K KFC videos. Do I have to jump on the horse and then jump over this? There. I'm getting trampled by the horses though. There. Got killed by horses. If I I can't describe how bad this was. It's like someone that had never cooked chicken before or you know, it's like a child had tried to make fried chicken. Like, obviously, if I, that had come to me in Nando's, I would have got a refund nowadays, but back then, it was like, oh, this is how... It, it was only the, the further I got into it, the worse it was. It was like, at first, it was just like the weird shape, how greasy it was, and the bones sticking out of it all over the place. And then it was battered feathers, then it was like veins and stuff, and then it was just like, this isn't cooked properly, I'm not eating this. To be fair, it's probably at my parents' place. I'd probably still have that fucking film case with the, the battered feathers inside it. Why does the music when you die sound like Pinky in the Brain? Because it is. I'm not getting very far in this one at all, am I? Fuck the police! Yes, horse! Just get me over this cactus! Fuck the police! Oh, for fuck's sake! Pink in the Brain is an American animated series that was created by Tong Ruga, premiered on Kids WB on September the 9th, 1995. It, it was the first animated television series to be presented in Dolby Surround, and the fourth collaboration, Still from Spielgrub, is production company Amblin Entertainment. The Warner Animation, the characters first appeared in 1993 as a recurring skit in Animaniacs. I never knew it had its own cartoon. I always thought it was just part of Animaniacs. So we're opposite. I, I never saw it standalone cartoon, I don't think. I just always knew it as part of Animaniacs. I'm just getting bummed by horses here. The motherfucking Grand National here. Drink when you see a horse, by the way. It's, it's the law. No! Oh, fuck you, cop. I guess perhaps, like... Yeah. You might not know... If you're a certain age or something. I didn't know it had its own cartoon, so... Like, Pinky the Brain have already appeared in the background of, the, of this game, in the other level. Alright, let's try the fourth level, because uh, I'm not getting anywhere on that one. I might as well play the, uh, the first one if I'm going to do that. An Animaniacs Historians now. It's better in 10 minute segments. I imagine it would be. I decided against buying the Animaniacs Pogs off eBay. I declined the offer of seven quid, a, seven pound fifty a pack or whatever it was. 
then they reduced the price of the packs to eight pounds, and I got an email about it. I'm like, no. Yeah, it'd be different if I could do safe states. Could just cheese it, but. Alright, let's see what level 4 is. Are there any more? I'm guessing there's like more after that. Oh, Blood Mask Part 32. To scream or not to scream. I thought Janus died for good in Part 15. He did. But if you remember, his analyst stole the mask and he became reincarnated. Then, after the analyst died in Part 26, his butler became Janus briefly, before handing the reins to his insurance salesman. Wow, that's scary! If we take the mask, will we become Janus then? That's something only the game designers can answer. Ooh, spooky! Good dialogue there. I bought a ton of the Pokemon Pogs off eBay. I remember getting them back in the day. They, it, it was weird because it was like the Pokemon Pogs came like five years after the Pog craze. I, I had some. I can't remember where I got them from. Back, back when they first came out. If someone bought them for me or what. But I didn't collect them. I'm going to get my uh, original gen Pokemon cards from my parents this week. And then, then I might be going on to eBay. I literally don't know what I have. Like, I, I, I could very realistically have cards worth thousands that are just sitting there. I'm going to- I've got to go to London for work on Wednesday. So, I'm going to see my parents. No! Alright, let's try a different one. Not that. Never liked this level much. How do we get past this prick? I think you can move the gravestones, but you have to be wacko because he's stronger. I thought you were saying you want to be wacko because he's stronger. I thought you were channeling the, uh, the Animaniacs official. If you had to kiss one of the Animaniacs, which Animaniac would it be? That's our question to lead us into the final half an hour of this stream. So I've got to push the gravestones from the top. Yeah, I've got to get bounced back. It's not letting me get over it that way. How do I get back up there? It bounced me back last time, didn't it? The girl! So how about Isabel? What do you think of Isabel from Animal Crossing? Alright, let's not, let's not backtrack on that. Gravestone there. No, I can't. I can't jump into it. Isabel must be protected. I can't get up onto here though. The jump button's not working when I'm at the edge here. You're watching about half a minute to 45 seconds in d delay, by the way, Joe. You 
probably seeing me get past that just now. Hey! Snow White and the Seven Clever Boys! I need to put that above the, cri uh, the crisis. The Cancer Research UK logo. Where's the Cancer Research? Oh, fuck it anyway, it's cursed. Thank you. Well, that, that's going to take so long for us to get there. Your delay is worse today. The one day where I've played the game you're featuring. I mean, you've played Animal Crossing. Oh, I've got to, I've got to get the gravestone on top of here, haven't I? Gotta get up there to get to the gravestone. I mean, nothing can help me with this. And give me hints and tips and cheats, T chips and teats, but. You can pull it. Fuck, am I just finding this shit out? Needs a little little tutorial at the start to tell you what each one does, or you know maybe an instruction booklet like you got with games back in the day. They should bundle instruction booklets with ROMs, is what I'm saying. Yeah, that would have helped earlier. This is where it's going to fucking get silly, isn't it? Fuck the books! Oh, chandelier! I just got fucked by a chandelier. What happened in the mirror there? Oh, there's some spooky. Oh, fucking Castlevania! Can we hammer him? Do we have to kiss him? having much luck with any of the ability. Oh, there we are. If at first you don't succeed, try about 20 more times and then it randomly works. If I'd known I could pull stuff. If I'd known I could pull stuff, that, that would have got me out of earlier where I got completely stuck and reset the, and turned the game off and put something else on. That would have worked. I'm already past it, Joe. What? Fuck him. Motherfucking Castlevania. Super Castlevania. I'm dead. Dead IRL. Definitely looks like fucking uh, super ghouls and ghosts.
Has anybody played the new Ghouls and Ghosts game? I'm scared at how hard it'll be to so not bothered. I wasn't a big fan of the originals, to be fair. And I definitely don't have the skills or the patience for them nowadays. Eighteen seconds isn't too bad. Badoing. These ones can't be moved by the looks of it. It's just these ones. Oh! Hydration! Thank you, Stina. that down, haven't I? But then how do I get that down from up there? I'm getting stuck on bits that I've already fucking passed five minutes ago. Do these do anything? Alright, I've got a trying to. The jump button just doesn't work in this position. Now break it. Yeah, I think the delay's... <laughs> the delay's too much. This really controls like absolute fucking arse. I learned that you could pull shit. I don't know if this is optional or not, but I might as well do it. Oh, wrong guy. house now there's the uh, the book thing fuck the books 
Fuck the books was one of my phrases when I worked at the library. Crushed by the chandelier here. Switched to the wrong one midway through pushing. That that's what happened to me last time. I'm off to the side of it. It shouldn't kill me. It shouldn't kill me anyway. now. And the Maniacs Esports. I'm going to be very cautious now. Yeah, I will step back. Step back. I still got damaged by it. There's Pinky in the brain there. Who killed me? didn't reach him that time. <laughs> Fucking little shit. Gonna lay mouse traps next time. I was gonna say the sound hurts you, but it was too late. But it was too late. No, fuck Frankie in the brain. And fuck the books. And fuck the chandeliers. And fuck Animaniacs official. Do I have to kill him? What? What the fuck? What the fuck am I supposed to do at that point? All right. Have we got any other levels we could try? It's not worth changing game again. I'll try level one again. Fuck the plates. Especially fuck the plates. We're speed running this now. Hi, J Bug. I've ruined my speed run. Go to the first level of the game. So we're two hours and fifty minutes into the stream, we've just started level one of the game again. Professional 
Animaniacs Esports stream. Gonna rename Talking Real Animaniacs Esports. Official. A Animaniacs Unofficial. Let's settle it at that. It's pretty mean jumping on his head, isn't it? I need to get my get my shit to in gear for this bit. Don't hit it too early, don't hit it too late. Yes mate! Animaniacs eSports! Men are easy manipulated if in love, yeah. Hey, Snow White and the Seven Clever Boys. We've had, we've had quite a lot of uh, people wanting Snow White and the Seven Clever Boys now. Now I've put in the jackbox, it seems that Snow White and the Seven Clever Boys is more popular. <laughs> no! Mixed reactions here from, from chat. Yes! I mean, they, you're talking real peas, you can do what you want with them. Within the limits of what you can use them for. Shots, shots, shots. That's it. That's what you can use your talking real piece for. Shots. But only from... On Sunday's stream, we'll be doing shots. Lent will be over. Do I need to smack that thing? I just don't get what's happening here. I just haven't got past that bit. Can we invest them in a high yield ISA? Sadly not. Within the parameters of Talking Real, obviously. I guess those levers don't do anything. Oh, do the buttons on here control it left and right? Fuck, I fell off. Shots on a Sunday. Whoa, happy bank holiday. Yeah, we haven't got a stream on. The, the streams are all going to be fucked up this week. Just that I'm going to be away for work as well, so there's no Wednesday stream. I, it's just, The controls are just annoying. I've got to start that level again, again, again. Uh, Sunday is a scheduled stream. Next Saturday is Mr. Bean. We'll do a stream on Tuesday. So Wednesday's stream will be Tuesday. I was getting there, yeah. The thing is, if I wasn't talking and streaming, I would, I, I, I would usually be a bit better. I know that's a cop-out thing to say. But I'm able to do it if I know what I'm doing. Whereas the 
Super Nintendo Animaniacs, it was just fucking hard. So on Sunday we've got uh, 2 p.m. It's an extra f extra hour on the Sunday stream. We're starting at 2 p.m. with Animal Crossing: New Horizons. We're going to do Bunny Day, switching over halfway to Animal Crossing: Wild World. Yep. Yeah. And then on Tuesday we don't know what game it is yet. And I think we might be back to normal schedule for Thursday, but we'll see. Oh, I did it too early. Too early! Where's my at? Damn it, is it, uh, is it not going to spawn back over here? Oh, big F. I'm going to have to fucking kill myself here. We're getting smashed with Isabel at 2pm, yeah. It's Isabel's favourite pastime. Feeling something you fly over has goodies, maybe extra life. What, so should I just not fly over the stuff? I mean, it's not going to help me much. We're literally at the end of the stream now. I need to know what I'm cooking tonight as well. It does feel like a Saturday, doesn't it? But this isn't really Saturday stream like. I guess it feels more like a Sunday stream. But not Animal Crossing y. Oh. We have to go in the cannon. Wish every day could be Bank Holiday Friday. Yes. No work. Yeah, uh, the normal schedule will more or less resume once we get to next weekend. It's just this weekend's going to be a bit weird. This, this week's going to be a bit weird starting from today. Oh, fuck off. do talking real like in person with Char again at some point and then get him to play Animaniacs. F force him to play Animaniacs. Can we have egg party on your island? Indeed, that is the idea. Bring your axe and we'll fucking, we'll take out Zipper once and for all. So we'll play New Horizons for perhaps two hours and then finish it off with Wild World. Sweet there. Oh! You know what? That's it. I'm done. I'm done, done with Animaniacs. Done with this stream. Done with playing 16-bit uh, classics. This is it. It's talking real. I mean, I'll tell you about schedule now, but I've just uh, spoken about it. It's a weird one. So thank you for watching Talking Real. We're back again on Sunday with Animal Crossing. So the next stream is Animal Crossing, Wild World and New Horizons. Uh, there we go. It's from 2pm UK time. Not GMT, but you know what I mean. Rage quit. Yeah, indeed. When you switch over to Wild World, they'll probably tell you to choke on your Easter egg. Yeah, that's it. It's like, what the fuck are you doing here? Don't you know it's Easter? Piss off. That's what they'll say. Bunny day. More like fuck you day. That's what they'll tell me in Animal Crossing Wild World. Now, Talking World Real is a variety stream, so thank fuck we don't just play Animaniacs and other games that I've been unable to fucking get past the first screen of today. 
We play all sorts of games and we're back next time with Animal Crossing. We normally stream Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday and Sunday. For the next week, that's going to be a bit of a weird schedule. Uh, we're not streaming this Saturday. We're streaming today instead. This was the stream. You're watching it. This this is this is this what you're watching was the replacement for the Saturday stream. Hope you enjoyed it anyway. And uh, we'll be back on Sunday. Let's roll those motherfucking credits. Like and subscribe. Thanks for supporting Talking Real. Thank you, Lars and Goldbears, for cheering. Thank you to our mod, Darlo Joe, and thank you to the weird uh, Animaniacs troll account for following and keeping us entertained for 20 minutes or so at the start of the stream. And thanks to Konami for making countless great Animaniacs games. I'll just, I'll find uh, someone, like, we'll, we'll, we'll raid Farron. Farron makes content, who's now just renamed Jamie Farron again on uh, Twitch. And yeah, keep keep it locked to the, the Talking Real Discord to find out what the streams coming up are, because I don't know. And we might do a Tuesday stream this week. We got a charity stream as well. 17th of April and next Saturday. Fucking Mr. Bean, come on. Bye, everyone. Endless raining, Lars. Daily Joe, Gaming Amelia, Steena, anyone that I've missed because you, you've already disappeared off the screen. Thank you very much for tuning in and have a great Easter weekend. We were talking real. Like, by Euphorio, and motherfucking subscribe, yeah? Take it fucking easy. Bye.